And we are back with more What's Now, right now an all new reality show called Cosmic Love. This is a journey of romance where individuals come together and use the stars and astrology to help make different connections. Well, I spoke with the Cosmic Twins all about this show, their involvement, how they got involved in astronomy and romance. Let's take a look. Today I'm speaking with astrologers and twins, Tali and Ophiro Abirs, all about what happens when four single people get matched with potential romantic partners, and also use their astrological charts. Thank you so much, Tully and Ophir, for, uh, for being here today. How are you? Great. Doing great. great. So excited. Tully, let's start with you. I'd love to hear about what first got you into astrology. I mean, you know, really obsessed with it, uh, dating like most people. Why didn't he call? <laughs> What's he really thinking? But then, you know, we discovered the deeper nuances of it for ourselves, learning about ourselves, our path. I mean, it's just so fascinating. Um, to, and we've just, you know, like the deeper dimensions, why you're here. So, Is it fair to say then that it was the romantic <laughs> escapades or adventures that led to digging into astrology? Is that true, Ophira? I mean, for sure, it was part of it. The thing is, there are so many parts of being a human that are so baffling and confusing and take up so much time. And you find yourself making the same mistakes over and over again, having the same complaint. And we got kind of tired of that. So when we discovered that astrology explained certain personality traits that were very universal and kept repeating through our observation, we're like, this is an amazing tool. We're going to keep this in our back pocket and then our front pocket later, you know, just, you know, to use it to, as a shortcut. Life is too short to suffer voluntarily if you have a great tool. And to make this personal, Polly, <laughs> what did you learn about yourself when you dug into sure. astronomy? Well, astrology is fascinating. So we were born December 2nd. We're Sagittarius, same birthday as Britney Spears, but, you know, not like her totally. Um, when we did what's called your whole chart, the, every day, like only someone born the same minute in the same time zone will have the same chart. That's a map of where all the planets are, including the moon, Mercury, Mars, Venus, all the way to Pluto. And so though we're Sagittarius, we have moon, Mercury, Mars, and Venus. They were in the Scorpio part of the sky. So, you know, everything said, oh, you're supposed to be so free spirited in this, but just much more intense one-on-one -on -one in relationships, a little jealous, a little scared to open up, and it really fit the Scorpio description. So learning that more you know, nuanced um, astrology, which by the way, we get into in the show, Cosmic Love, the, the cast learns their chart and you'll be able to learn as you watch along. So it, it really chart. changed the way that I dated. I realized like I should not be going for someone who's just so fun and wild and exciting. I actually need to make sure I take my time because I will start to get attached. I will get attached with that Scorpio. So, and that was okay. Except self-acceptance is the best um, way to begin dating in a healthy manner. That's the way to find your compatibility. You asked, she revealed. There it was. That was a lot for my Scorpio to reveal. Yeah. yeah. Good question. So, Ophira, how have you been able to help others utilizing their astrological charts? Oh, yeah. I mean, we've probably done thousands of charts. And every time a person will have a moment of insight. We like to say that human beings are our own biggest blind spots. There are just certain things that we can't see about ourselves that everyone else says, oh, that's obvious. You don't realize you're this way. So the, when you do someone's chart, it gives them just that little bit of distance that allows them to look at themselves objectively that most of us, you know, that it's very hard to do for people. So you get that insight and that insight allows you to grow. So, and when you grow, you make better choices. You actually get more free will and astrology is, is a great tool for doing that. So we've helped a lot of people see themselves through it. And now it's led to an exciting show, Cosmic Love. Tell, yes. me, tell me all about the show. Well, Cosmic Love has 20 people. There's four main characters in the cast, a fire sign, an earth sign, an air sign, and the water sign. These are the 
four elements in astrology that all the signs fall under. And they're in a house. There's 20 people in a house, but the four elements each have four matches. They don't know who they are. We know. We pick them out in advance as the astrologers and matchmakers for the show. But as you go through the episode, you see them wandering. They have attractions. They don't know if they're matched fully. They find out bit by bit as they're learning about themselves. So it's really a show about the nuances of relationships and self-discovery along with chemistry and love. So it's hot. Everyone's good looking and, you know, got <laughs> a like great a personality. It's like a bachelor with astrology mashup. So, Ophira, are they going on dates or adventures? What happens after they do maybe make a connection? Yeah, so the four main characters, the elements, will come into this room called the Astro Chamber where we were speaking to them just in their ears. They didn't see us and giving them a little mini mission. Um, sometimes, sometimes they got to pick the person they went on a special date with, sometimes we had picked them for them, um, and then they get to a point where they have to start eliminating people as the show goes on. But they're guide, they get a bit of guidance for, based on their chart. They learn something about themselves, and then now you're gonna go on a date where you get to experience that. And here's what we advise, you can do whatever you want, and then you get to watch the experiment of astrology unfold in these fascinating ways. It is absolutely fascinating. Polly, what has been your favorite part about being on this show, participating in it, just the overall romantic adventures with astrology? Yeah, my favorite part was just watching everybody open up, especially when they too discovered more than just their sun sign, their moon signs really gave them access to their feeling centers, who they were inside. They were a bit shocked because we knew, they're like, how do you know this? Are you? But, <laughs> you know, just like that, that it gave them permission and just watching them give themselves permission to really show the parts of themselves that they might not normally. And just, it was very, you know, unlike a lot of reality shows, it's not, it's very exciting. It's got its share of drama, but there was a real connection happening that you don't see normally because astrology just lends itself to that. You're, you're learning about yourself and it, there's a lot of growth that happens. And that was exciting. Like we're It doesn't not... always happen on reality dating shows, but a lot of it happened here. Oh, it did. Absolutely. And Ophira, anything else you'd like our viewers to know if they haven't tuned in yet, or if they're watching now about Hugs yeah, and Love? Yeah, it's just come and binge. We've got 10 episodes, August 12th, and there's Amazon has x-ray content behind the scenes with us. So each episode, you'll get an astrology lesson from us. We can learn exactly what the cast is going through that week in your own chart and your own life. How it's Fascinating. I'm so looking forward to tuning in. Yes. Once again, Cosmic Love is on a Prime Video this month. So thank you so much, Tully and Ophira, for joining us today. Really looking forward to watching. I appreciate your time. Yay, well, thanks, thank you. Christine.